Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday on this March 7th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Ken. Fran, good to see you. Rob, Michael, good to see you all. Donna, all right. Good to see you, Lita. Is it cold up in Canada, Lita? <laughs> good to see you, Gene, Mike, Ross, everyone. All right, good, everyone. So, well, we got another rally, what we're going on with TBPTH. Uh, we're gonna t we're gonna talk about it a little bit, but let me tell you, a lot of us killed it yesterday with this one stock. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what what it means on phase two trials and you know regarding about FDA approvals and stuff like that. But before we do that, want to go over and talk about what happened yesterday. Um, you know, uh, on some of the other stocks, which obviously the BPTH is one of them. You know. Just kind of get right to the point and, and tell everybody this. But, you know, it's funny, but people think like we're fooling around or kidding around here. The BPTH, how often, guys, do we get this? And, and don't believe me in the chat room. Guys, how often do we get a stock up like two, three hundred percent? How often do we see stuff like this? Ah, come on, Ken. Not daily. Not daily. Come on. Often? What's often, Lita? At least weekly, right? At least weekly. Now, once a month, I don't know about that. I mean, we do get we do get a little bit more. We had uh, the IGC. Let me just bring some of these up. We had IGC. Remember that one? Uh, that one right here. Remember that one? That one took off. That was a pretty big uh, couple of hundred percent. G. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. GEVO. Uh, that one was another one that ran from like two to twelve five fifty. Um, uh, ABIL, that was another one that was pretty awesome back here. Remember this one? This one ran from like uh, 350 or eight dollars. So they're out there. I mean, forget about where they are today. But um, but anyway, we we get these things all the time. So remember what I always tell you: don't worry about it. Tomorrow is another day. We always always find stocks like this. So and if it's not long, it's short. So let's talk about what is moving this morning because there are a couple of things that I do like that I want to cover. But before I do that, let me just cover other than just um, not just the BT uh, the BPTH that we traded. There was a couple other ones that moved yesterday. All right. First of all, let's start off with this one. This was a really nice mover yesterday, the ANF. Now, ANF, you could see here in pre-market, it was an awesome pre-market stock. It ran from 23, gapped up all the way to 24.50, and by 12 o'clock, it was already at 26.50. That was a pretty nice move. So that one did really well. A um, couple other ones, that was on earnings. The ZAYO. And the reason why I'm, I'm pouring, like, lemon on a wound is that this better remind you what happened yesterday because listen we're, this is the you know it's hump day tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so you know we had a big list yesterday and not of them all move but someone did this one also did move pretty nicely 25 25 80 to 27 70 it's this one's gapping up a little bit i'm going to put this back on the watch list remember you want to be a good swing trader you better damn well be a good damn day trader to figure it out because it's what happens over the course of the day which makes the uh a swing trade and an option trade trade come in ne uh, neo this one took a big hit yesterday this one, um, nice little, great little short, you know, nice little China stock, Kron, C-R-O-N. We've been doing well with that one. That one backed off pretty well, too, yesterday. We had a nice little rally. And then, you know, and, and my ultimate favorite, PCG, man. Remember that one yesterday? PCG, let me tell you something. That thing took off yesterday, and a lot of you remember this one right here when it made a big pop. I, honestly, I chased it. it. It went from, it just gapped up. Let me just. You know, you could see it right here. It, it literally went from like $18 to 1920 That one, I mean, I really wanted to sell it and take a profit on it, and it had absolutely no shake on it. And um, made a really nice, really nice trade. Um, I chased it around 1860 I got out around 19 I think it was like 1910 or something like that, 1905. You could see it drop right back down to 1840. But that one, if you guys remember, that was a, that actually was a really good trade. The problem with the BTT, uh, the BPTH for some of us though, a lot of you guys are really not qualified to trade it. And what I mean by that, that stock was very, very risky. It was very, very fast. You had to be one of my, uh, you know, you had to be one of 
you know, I had to be a minimum of a of a of a fa a, a, le um, a level two trader, cyber trader to trade that stock. So yes, I know everybody likes these stocks that go up from two to seventeen. Doesn't mean that you're really qualified to trade that because we all know what happens to these stocks that go up this high. Everybody, what do we all know about what happens with stocks like this? Whatever goes up, we all know. They come down twice as fast. That's right. They've harder they fall. All right. So be very, very careful. So anyway, the BPTH is going to make the watch list again. It's up big again uh, yesterday. Look at those nasty shakes it did yesterday right there. It was pretty much done around 12 o'clock. It had a good afternoon run. But let me tell you, um, after 3 o'clock, it went from 15 down to 12. I mean, that is a pretty nasty kind of shake. Could you imagine you had 1,000 shares of that stock? And, you know, you now you're looking at, damn, I sold it. I took a loss at 12. Now it's back to 16. What I'm doing, this is why people lose money. You got to know how to play the game. How do we know how to play the game? You got to watch, you know, the level three and all that good stuff. So anyway, that one's back on the watch list. Let me tell you what was a good afternoon trade, which is going back on my watch list too. You All you guys remember this stock right here, ARRY. This stock was a great, great swing trade. We were trading the stock for a little while. Um, at the beginning of the month, it was $17, went to $23. Great, great move. Um, stock was a great short going into the close. Everyone should have got the short you know, right around 3 o'clock when it was at $22.60. It went all the way down to about $22. Nice little $0.60 cents move. 1,000 shares, 600 bucks, six-figure salary right there in an hour. I'll take that all day long. But anyway, um, I – I want to put that on the watch list because this stock has been on a really, really nice trend. And looking at next support levels, it looks like it'd be around 21. So it looks like it probably could test a dollar lower. But don't let this up 50 cents or 200 shares. I, I, after watching what happened, you know, remember, a lot of us always look at the glories of these things go up. But sometimes some of us miss them. And guess what? Like I mentioned, whatever goes up. They come down a lot faster. Uh, short squeeze is everything else. So that one's going back on the watch list. But the um, the BBTH, um, I, I just want to kind of point out, I rarely, rarely look at news. I rarely look at news. And people are like, wait a minute, what do you mean you look at news? Because I don't have time to look at news. I don't have to distinguish news in a way of as a day trader. Day traders don't care about news. We care about volatility. We care about momentum, okay? Um, because by the time you figure out what it is, it's usually too late. But there are things like this that are like, wow, why is the thing still going up? There's something going on. So, and it just proves it. Who would ever thought a phase two trial would make a stock go from two to, to $16, you know, and being very, very strong. Apparently, it's a really good drug. I'm not in a drug business. I don't know anything. I, I know that drugs are very important in our lives, but obviously, some are more important than others. I, I've traded some drug stocks. I mean, you know, I bought a, one of the most expensive watches I ever purchased was because I bought a, a drug stock, and it went from 60 to like 700 <laughs> It was uh, Grant Brockway remembers that one um, that I traded uh, back in when I met him in Orlando. I forgot what it was. It was it was like started with a C. I know that, but uh, it was no, it wasn't the TEVA. Uh, TVA wasn't the one. I forgot it. No, it wasn't the. I forgot the name of the symbol. I forgot the one it was. But um, but anyway, it went from no, nah, it wasn't the CAPR. It was like I think it was like a CL. I don't know. It was like two years ago. It was like three years ago, actually. But anyway, that that, that's, that that ship has gone in sale. So I got my nice watch, so that's all that matters from it. <laughs> but they're there every day. So sometimes you look at them, and that's all that matters. But uh, a couple of the stocks are on the watch list. We're going to throw it on there. Okay, want to check out the stock uh, right here, S-E-E-L. Stocks of 43%. Woo! Up 3 million shares already traded. That is a huge run-up. So listen, Back to the $2 again. Forget about the 16 the 30s. Let's go back to $2. Here's a stock that was at 12 bucks just at the end of the year. was at 8 got crushed. I always like stocks like this because then you probably get started getting a little bit of a bottom fish right here. So don't let the you know 42% up fool you. I'm like, oh, but it's already up already. Listen, this thing has a lot of room to go um, if the trend is your friend. GTXI. Okay. This one, another one. 
got destroyed. It's up 82% right now. This stock had a huge gap down from 24, all the way down to two, never came back. Um, you got some resistance levels a couple of days ago, um, a, 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 not too far back. Some of you remember we traded the GTXI, okay? Looks like right there at that resistance levels right here, okay? So it looks like that stock is starting to make that move again. Um, let me see if I can fix the time frame in there. You can probably see a little better. Uh, not really. All right. So we got the, um, let's keep an eye on this one too. 1.5 million shares, 10 million, 10,000 share buyers, 4,000, 4,000 sellers. So we got good iceberg orders out there. That's what we need. You know, there was one stock that was pretty good um, also, but unfortunately she's expensive and you got to be a level five trader, but this G, uh, this GW, RE is up 12%, 54,000 shares. Once again, this is why we don't trade the stock. 100 shares, 200 shares. And that's what people look at. They're like, well, I could just trade 100 shares of it. Yeah, you know what? 100 shares of stock like this, I'd rather trade the other one with uh, with more shares. So that one looks pretty good. REZI, another one's coming on the watch list. Stock's taking a nice little hit here, down 16%. Um, why I like it on the short side? Listen, the stock has been on a nice little uptrend from 20 Went all the way to 26. Look at that. You lose it all in one day. All that hard work took you all year to make it. You lose it in one day. And you know what? How could you have known that stock was going to gap down? Uh, hello, day trading. Look at that right there. It was breaking lower lows. So if you want to be like the typical amateur out there and says, well, uh, maybe we'll come back tomorrow. Oh, my God. Now I'm down. Oh, maybe we'll come back tomorrow. And a 50 cents becomes a dollar loss and a dollar loss becomes a $2 loss and a $2 loss becomes also now to put you into a $7 loss. So, um, you know, you got to watch what's happening over the course of the day. I don't know how much more I have to stress it. But anyway, you got some support levels. Um, what I liked about this stock right here. So maybe we're getting a little dead cat bounce, you know. Once again, you know, as long as it's not a pharmaceutical stock, that's all that matters because we know pharmaceutical stocks do not come back when they, <laughs> when they lose whatever it is, FDA approval, whatever it is. Now, everybody's trading this one this morning in the pre-market. This has been a really good one so far in pre-market. KR. I know a lot of you guys already been short it. Um, you're doing great on it. Beautiful, beautiful short. Look at that. 16 already down to 24. Some of you guys are already printing money on this stock. Great orders on the on the matrix. I mean, this is exactly what we're looking for. And you know what? She still looks very weak. So um, just listen. We're breaking 52-week uh, lows. So you're gonna probably have to go back a little bit further. But this one is obviously has been our best bet. Oh, this is a hell of a lot better than BPTH in pre-market. At least this one hasn't had the nasty shakes as bad. Um, everyone a fan of Barnes and Noble? Ouch. Barnes and Noble not doing too well. Um, but she is coming to some support levels right here. You know, everyone's like, oh, but I love Barnes and Nobles. I love the being all sophisticated with the coffee and they go to read some books. And listen, doesn't mean that, you know, you could trade it and say, well, just because you like the like the, the store. And I love the store. I got a big one in my hometown, you know, and a nice little beautiful, you know, uh, coffee, Starbucks in there. But doesn't mean you're going to make money with it. So, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, Barnes & Noble. You don't look too well. Probably have to short you. Y -A, uh, uh, Z -A -Y -O. You know, the stock gapped up a little bit. It's testing resistance. I thought this was going to probably do a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, this stock had a really nice push yesterday. Like I said, I know I talked about earlier. Let's see what happens. It's testing this resistance levels right around here on 28. So if it breaks it and fills in a gap, it could go to 30. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Jerry says, don't spend money there. <laughs> go read books, buy them from Amazon. Right, Benito? And, and, and listen, I think they're out of the book business, aren't they? I mean, was that like a fraction of what they, what they have, you know, of their business model? Anyway, really good day. Today's Thursday. Today's one of the hump days. Friday's coming up tomorrow, so let's try to make our money, enjoy the weekend. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Rob says, what about the the RBZ? You know, I looked at that that earlier, um, and you could see the stock is – it's up it's up nicely, but the trend is down right now. I was going to throw it on the watch list. I just didn't like what it was doing as in the trend goes. So maybe, you know, we could put it as a second tier, Robert, but we'll see what happens when it opens up. But as of right now – we can't, is it, you know, we can't, we can't eat everything. 
Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Right here. Let's check out the ISRG at $534. Yeah, definitely. Right on the Fausta watch list. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> no problem. One share. That's right. We could trade one share and then, you know, and I don't know what that's going to accomplish, but listen, we're in the business to make money, not watch money. Uh, ALF, the A ALT is what I meant. ALT. Sorry about that. ALF was, uh, I guess fat fingers kicked in. ALT is the one, but I'll fix that. All right, everybody. So I will, yeah, that'll be my stock at 500. I wish I was a $500 stock. My wife would probably divorce me <laughs> or put a chain around my neck. You're not going anywhere. You're worth a lot of money. But listen, just because you're $5 out of $5 doesn't mean you're 500 doesn't mean that you're a better company at $10, right? All right. So anyway, you got the watch list, guys. Now, remember, today's a very big day. Um, today, we're going to do open house. So we're going to invite a bunch of traders coming in there. So listen, uh, go out there, tweet it. Facebook it, invite your friends. Listen, I, everybody wants to trade doesn't mean you should trade. Only way you're going to know if you can trade is um, is you got to see what's going on in the trading room. And just remember, guys, uh, we're very, very selective who we let in the room. We don't invite everyone. We invite everyone to see what it is and do an open house, but doesn't mean everyone's qualified to be part of it. The only way to know that is actually to see what it's all about. So go out there, invite your friends. And if you watch on YouTube, we'll see you back here at 12 o'clock. Remember, we do it every Thursday at 12 p.m. Um, here. All right, guys, so good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, if I don't see it, and then after 12, don't forget, we got the afternoon meeting at 2.30 to trade the close. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, everybody. Let's make some money.